my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny, where I single handedly keep Amazon in business. Not something that I'm proud of. And Bumper's not very proud of me either. Today, we are going to talk about a new concept that I thought about in the shower. What if I publicly shame myself about all the items that I purchased from Amazon in the month of May? So I'm thinking we do this in June, July, August until you guys are like, okay, enough's enough. We get it, you're a fan. This is just stuff that I get, whether it's for this channel, whether it's for my sons, whether it's for the dogs. So that's usually who I shop for, mostly myself. But that's what we're gonna talk about. So if you think this is a good idea, a good concept, let me know in the comment section below and we'll do it at the end of every single month. I will show you a screenshot of the item that I'm talking about so that you could visually imagine it I will also link the product and if I'm wearing it, talking about it, featuring it in another video on Instagram, etc, etc, I will make sure to have that link in the description box below as well. So today we are going to talk about every single purchase that I made on Amazon for the month of May. Who's excited? No? You? How about you? Are you? Where's Bumper? You can't even see him. He's like way over there. Do you see? Okay, wait, hold on. Right there. That's his ear. Let me go ahead and pull up my phone and we are going to filter our Amazon searches to only in the last 30 days. Today is the last day in May when I'm filming this video, so we're going to scroll to the bottom and move our way to the top. The first product that I see on the list is a bacon stick and a rolling zagler. These are Benabones, and these are treats that I get for Ernesta, Ernie, or Mern, my healer. She is extremely anxious. She was rescued and she didn't come from a very happy place. So she tends to be a little neurotic, a little nervous, insanely barky. So the only toy that I have discovered that she cannot destroy are Benabones. Now Benabones I believe are toxin-free nylon that they could chew on and once they get a little jagged, I just throw them away. They are pricey but they last us for several months. So I will purchase them maybe three times a year, at the most three times a year, and I'll buy her two at a time. She plays with them, she destroys them, and once I notice they start to get sharp or jagged, I toss them and give her new ones. So if you have a nervous, neurotic, anxious, anxious barky, chewy dog, or a dog that destroys all toys, that's gonna be something that your pup enjoys. The other thing is the Eco Kind Yak Cheese Dog Chews. These are a latest or recent discovery that I made, they are edible treats. So imagine if Benabone, the product that I just described, was edible, this is what that is. It takes her forever to get through a chew. I would say one chew lasts her a week, five days, and it's a better alternative to say rawhide or fake rawhide. Then we have the scrunch booty shorts. These were a recommendation from my best friend, Sam. And I have to say, I bought them in a medium and they are insanely uncomfortable. They are like instant magic wedgie. They are cute as like bloomers under a mini dress. So I don't know about you guys, but I love mini dresses, but I also don't like showing people my butt. So it's, it's kind of like a, you know, it's a, we have a good relationship. So you give me a wedgie, but it's also a really cute bloomer under mini dresses because it's cute. It adds a little, you know, like a little uh, to your butt. You know what I mean? So I like that, but I'm not sure I would spend the $16 for them again. All right, enough about that. I got two sets of post-its. I don't, I don't, that's not very interesting, right? Like, see, it's not even interesting for Wesley. Did you hear that? He's like, post-its, mom. Can we get more exciting? Can you be any more boring? <laughs> so we got some post-its. Then I got the 8080 Marriage, a new model for happier, what's the title of this? Happier, Stronger Relationship. So I found this book as a suggestion from other books that I had purchased. I have an addiction to self-help books. I love reading them. And I love reading them because a lot of times I will read something that I've already learned 
you know, in my 36 years, I'm like, yeah, validation, finally. Or I learned something new and I'm like, yep, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. I'm gonna put that in my file storage in my brain and I'm gonna save it because it's amazing, useful, helpful information. So The 80-80 Marriage is this book that talks about the changes that marriages have gone through where before they were like a 90-10 or an 80-20 marriage where the husband was like the breadwinner, the money maker, and the wife was the caretaker, the homemaker, the ego stroker, you know, like we had to be the cheerleader and the maid and the everything and we really didn't have a voice. And then the marriages transition into 50-50 where both people are unhappy and both people are passive aggressive because everyone's keeping track. Like, well, I did more than you. You did less than me. Like, and you go tit for tat and no one's happy because no one's doing enough. And so the 80-80 marriage is this concept that obviously is illogical and doesn't exist because you can't do 160%, right? But it's the concept of doing more than you think you're supposed to. And I don't mean burning yourself out. I just mean being happy in the relationship you're in that you are proud to do more than you think is fair for one person. Or not fair. Fair is a wrong word to use. But if both partners are constantly being generous, whether it's with attention or affection or acts of service, then that resentment of I'm carrying the burden, like I'm carrying the mental load, I'm carrying the physical labor, I'm carrying the financial load or the economic. If both partners are giving more than say 50% or their share, it's kind of hard to get into a position where you resent someone because they're not doing enough. Both partners are giving giving more of themselves to their partner to really show up for them. It's hard to get to a place where you are resentful, you know, of each other because you know that your partner believes in you and your partner is as invested and committed to this relationship as you are. So that was a very long spiel for a book, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> the other product is the OcuSoft Hypochlor Hypochlorous Acid cleaning solution. So this is an eyelid cleanser or spray for people with blepharitis or that have trouble with eyelid hygiene. So Parker and my youngest son Daniel both are very susceptible to chalazians, kind of like eye styes. And they just, it's just something that they've dealt with forever and it's troublesome and it's annoying and sometimes it's embarrassing depending on where it's located and it lasts forever. So Hypochlor is a cleanser that they have to use morning and night every single day for the rest of their lives aside from having, you know, really good eyelid hygiene. But because they're susceptible to chalazians and styes, they have to be they just have to kind of step it up a notch versus like you and I that would just you know, wash your face, whatever. They do that extra step to cleanse the eyelid just to make sure that they keep all that yucky stuff at bay. Then I have the Molecule Air in my bedroom. I did an Instagram post about it and I have the filters on auto ship from Amazon. So I get the big filter twice a year and then I get the little filters uh, four times a year delivered. So in May is one of the months where it has to arrive. So those are the two filters that you see there. Then you guys are going to see a ton of Pilates stuff. So I'm going to show all the Pilates socks that I've ordered from this brand. This is a brand called Tuckets. It's from Colombia. I personally love them because they are toeless. So they're not the yoga socks that have like the little finger toes, which I think are super uncomfortable. They just have one divider between the big toe and the four little toes, and then your four toes are just loose. And I love them so much, so definitely recommend those if you guys do Pilates bar yoga and you don't like the sock feeling in between each one of your toes. That is so weird to me. When the toes are separate, you know what I mean? It's like putting on a glove, but for your foot. I didn't, no, that's a no for me. <laughs> then I have the professional single LED light, which I mentioned in my current favorites. It's a whitening light that you have to use in conjunction with a whitening treatment, which is when I got the refill of the Opalescence Go in the 15%. So initially I started off with the 10% and that one you have to leave on for an hour. These are single use whitening trays, comes in a 10 pack and I bought the 10% first 
used them for an hour with a whitening light, and then I refilled for the 15%, which you only need to wear 20 to 30 minutes. A lot of you guys asked me in that favorites if I had sensitivity to it, if I had zaps or stings or no. It's not a comfortable thing to bleach your teeth, but it's not painful like when you do the in-room dental whitening, like the Zoom with, with the machine. No, it's not painful like that. It can be uncomfortable, and if you have sensitive gums, it can be, you feel it, but it's not painful. Then I got a few things for the boys. So the Astro Shot, it's like a shooting target game. It blows air out of these little pumps, and then these foam balls float, and they shoot them with little darts. Now these are fun because my boys are obsessed with Nerf guns, those little foam darts. They're obsessed with Nerf guns, so they already have a little collection of those, which they can also use with, with this toy. So anytime that you can reignite fun for a toy that they already have, like their Nerf guns, it's always a good opportunity. And the cool thing about this toy is A, it's not loud. I was afraid it was gonna be loud. It is not loud at all. B, you can do the floating balls with like suspended in air, or you could do bullet, like bullet, um, what does it look like, target practice. So there's these little flip up tabs that you stick in and if they shoot it or they actually make the target, it flips down. And then you can just lift them up again and then they flip down. So there's, there's a couple purposes with the game, but my favorite purpose is that it's not loud. <laughs> <laughs> then we got some pool toys. It can be overwhelming, like what pool toys are actually fun? Like what pool toys can you actually use because what level of swimming are your kids at? So I found this 30 piece diving pool toy set and the, to the, the toys don't all sink. Some of them stay at different levels, which is fun because my son Daniel with his little floaties can kind of reach down and get them himself and kind of feel like he's participating. But it is overwhelming how many kits and sets of diving toys and pool toys there are on Amazon. So this was a combination of a multi-pack that has a good variety, but also was very reasonably priced. So that's the reason I went with this one. Then we have this really cute pink baby doll dress. I haven't steamed it or worn it. I'm excited to, but I'm a little hesitant because it's one of those dresses that does require some sort of Spanx underneath or a camisole or a slip because the fabric is a little see-through. So it's kind of one of those things that feels like a chore. So I'm like, I'll get to it later. So I haven't actually had the opportunity to wear it, but it's really, really cute. The fabric is, the fabric is really cool. It looks like um, linen. It looks and feels like linen without the linen price tag, so that's nice. Then I got this set, and I've heard my friend Natalie Munoz here on YouTube. She loves this outfit, workout outfit. It comes with a top and a bottom. I really enjoyed the leggings. The back part of the leggings is so flattering. It makes anybody who is anybody look like they have a cute butt, so I love that. The top I wasn't a fan of. I feel like it runs large and small at the same time. The sleeves are really short on me, and if you look at the model, she actually has them looped through her hands, whereas the sleeves are like here on me. Albeit, I do have orangutan arms, but. <laughs> so, and then, so it's it's loose, it's it's short-sleeved, but, but then it's like wider at the top. I think I got a medium or a small, and it was super loose. Now, I do have very small bus size, so that might be a factor, but usually with compression-type workout, it always runs super small regardless because of how stretchy it is. And so that one was like, mm, you know what I mean? Like it's short but big, big but small at the same time. I don't know, it's, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, and then my mama shirt. I'm not gonna talk too much about this, but you saw it in my favorites, I think. The only thing I will mention is it's not cotton. It's not like a cotton t-shirt. It's like a polyester fabric. It's not very breathable. It's cute, runs oversized but it is not cotton. So if you guys are a fan of cotton tees, this is not one of those. It is a printed on polyester fabric. So I was a little disappointed when it arrived. I was like, oh, this is kind of cheap, you know, but even though it was cheap, I think the look was cute and the price was okay. So I was okay with it. 
<laughs> then we have a sports bra that I actually saw my friend April Athena suggest. And it's such a pretty sports bra because it is a long line bra. So it'll go about halfway down your torso and then it wraps in the back. So it has this cool little crossover, which I know is trendy right now in workout gear, like the offline leggings from Airy have that little cross in the, in the in the front of the leggings. So that's super trendy right now. And I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be super trendy. As much as I love it and it fits really nice and it's very flattering, for me, it, it like slid up as I was working out and it touched my armpits. I have a weird, irrational, I wouldn't say phobia, cause that makes it sound like it cripples my day, but I don't like things touching my armpit. I'll freak out a little bit if something's touching my armpit, but I've done a really good job at learning how to hide it. When I was little and things would touch my armpit, I would freak out and my mom would get so furious at me and say I was being ridiculous and dramatic and it was in my head. And I was like, look, I'm almost 40 now and I still don't like things in my armpit. So it looks cute, you put it on and it's nice, but as you jump around, move, stretch, do things, it starts to climb up and it touches your armpit. Now, if you guys had probably a bigger chest size, I would assume it stays in place, but for me it didn't. So maybe the size I got was too small and that's why it climbs up or moves up into my, maybe it's too big, I don't know, but super cute. I think it would be nice to wear for like a walk, but if you're gonna be doing anything that requires a lot of moving, this is how I move when I exercise? No. <laughs> then I don't, if you have an armpit thing, I'm talking to like the half percent of you that have armpit phobias. Then we bought underwear on Amazon. The ones I talked about are my favorites, the Pretty Sweet Basics with the lace trim. Those are a 10 pack, I believe. Run true to size. I got them in the uh, pastel shades or like the neutrals. I got them in a small, like I said, true to size. They were in my favorites for a reason. Love them. The other thing that I got were the wand wine purifiers. So this was a random amazing discovery that I was suggested. And I think I saw it on Instagram or it's like one of those ads, like blind ads. I don't know, but I was like, oh, what? So it's basically this wand that comes with like a little filter on the end of it. It looks like a tea bag almost, and it's attached to a wand and it purifies six ounces of wine. So if you get red, splotchy, short of breath, a runny nose, sort of allergy sensitivities, or a headache from drinking wine, you use a wind, wine wand in your glass of wine and you don't have them anymore. I haven't had the privilege of trying them out myself, but you better believe that I'm going to take that research very seriously, uh, so much so that I got a 12 pack. <laughs> My mom's actually coming to visit in the next couple of weeks, so I'm like, this might be a good opportunity for like a mother, daughter, let's test out some wine products together. You know what I mean? This I was super excited about. I got a pack of Heavenly Hounds Stress and Anxiety Relief Treats. So these are hemp free peanut butter flavored calming chews. They come in a big square like this and on the package it indicates how much to give your dog based on their weight. These are, they smell delicious. They look delicious. You could see the chunks of peanut in it and the dogs went bananas for them. And the reason I actually got them was because we're starting our kitchen renovation very soon and there's gonna be a lot of strangers in our house. That door is gonna be a revolving door and I know my dogs are gonna be really nervous the entire time. So I wanted to get some sort of resources to keep them calm. And so we're trying a few things and I wanna make sure, I'm, I'm that prepared person. Like I'm obnoxiously prepared for things and you're gonna, I'm gonna show you how obnoxiously prepared I am in a second. But it is a self-soothing technique that I developed at a very young age and it just helped me feel like I was in control when I normally wasn't. So I like to be prepared. So the general consensus is they work but they're not like some magic golden pill that are gonna make your neurotic dog normal. You know, like it, it, it chills them out. It definitely chills them out, but it's more so like makes them a little sleepy. So maybe it would be good for like a vet trip or things like that, but 
It's not a magic pill where like your dog is cured and isn't an anymore. <laughs> Then we have the leggings that I recently tried on in a weekend vlog. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I do a full try on in that video. You see me in my underpants. That offended some people, but that's okay because you know what? Puppies offend people, tacos offend some people, and those people are people that we need to understand. And there were some winners and there were a few that I returned. And then we got some supplements. So my chihuahua, the topo, has a heart murmur, he has pulmonary edema, and he has a collapsed trachea, all of which are really, really bad together. And so you can't fix the collapsed trachea, you gotta keep him calm, but there are two natural supplements that I give him every day that give him really good relief, and it does keep him calm for two to three hours at a time. It is homeopathic, it's all natural, so it's not bad for him. And when I was giving him hydrocodone, the syrup, it wasn't doing anything. Like it really wasn't calming him, it wasn't soothing him, it was just making him high. And so I was like, I can't, can't keep refilling this prescription for him because I don't wanna flag the vet and it's expensive, and it's not even making a difference. So I tried these two syrups from Amazon. You guys actually recommended them to me separately. One of you said the one, and one of you said the other, and I just give them both. One of them's a little more medicine-y. It's a little more, it feels more like it's an actual cough syrup. And then the other one is like a very thick coating type syrup that I think he likes more. Like, it's very sweet and delicious. I've actually tried it. I try things that I give my dogs, yes. <laughs> and um, he really likes it, so that's that. Then I got two books for the boys. The first book that I got was from Mac Lusado or Lucado. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. This author does really beautiful books for children. This one's called Just In Case You Ever Wonder, which is a really beautiful book because it sort of reassures your children that no matter what experiences they're going through, God's love is always there. Even if there's a big transition in their life, if they're being bullied at school, if they're sad about something, if they're happy about something, that they can always rely that God loves them. And I thought it was such a beautiful concept to teach the kids, not to mention that both of my boys, like their weakest subject is reading. So I'm like, listen, if I can help them practice their reading and also kind of plant these seeds of faith and hope and love, um, that's my job as a parent. The other book that I got was It Will Be Okay. And this is another book that helps your kids turn to God or believe in God when something feels uneasy or unstable. And for me, this was a book that I got because I want to make sure that my kids feel confident starting at a new school. Change is something that my boys experience a lot, but it's not something that gets any easier for children. And so now they're gonna be starting at a new school. It's a book that reminds them that no matter what happens, it's going to be okay. God loves you, God's watching out for us, God will protect us. And it's such a beautiful story. It's about a fox and a little seed. Now this is a book for readers that are a little more advanced because there's a lot of words, but the art or the illustrations are so beautiful. So it might be a good like bedtime story book. And I know a lot of us are going from lockdown or pandemic and distance learning, and we're going back into the school setting. So children can be a little uneasy or nervous about it. So it might be a good book to read to them to say, hey, listen, transitions are hard, change is hard, but hey, God's looking out for us. I love you, I'm here to protect you, and he's always watching over us, so we're safe. And so it's a very reassuring book. I actually heard about it from a local newscaster here in Dallas, and she reads it to her kids, and I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful story, and Amazon had it, so we got it. We're almost done, but this video is so long. Luckily, I'll have those links down below, so you can kind of skip around if you want to. Then do you guys remember those maxis that I talked about in my Amazon clothing haul? That I got one with big palms, and then I got another one with a tie-dye, blue and tan tie-dye. So I got a third because they are, don't judge me, okay? A, they are super comfortable to sleep in. B, 
If you gotta drop off your kids at school or you gotta run to the store, all you gotta do is slap on a bra and like a denim jacket or a denim vest or like, I don't know, an open face, like a, like a cute little loose cardigan and you're already dressed. <laughs> and B, no C, and C, pockets. <laughs> They have pockets. So anyway, I love the adjustable strap that it has as well because you can have it like super low cut or you could have it higher up like I should. We got a long line sports bra for working out, which I really liked. It's actually V, v cut, but it's not super low and it has the shelf bra on the inside and it's long enough to go at least half torso down. It's from the gym people. So the gym people, it's called the long line sports bra, wire free padded medium support for yoga, gym, running, workout. It's considered a tank top, but it's, I would say it's true to size. I got the extra small and it fits really well. I love that one. So I got it in pink and baby blue. Then I got an evil eye sticker and some stickers because I have a lot of stuff I need to post on my po uh, Poshmark. And when I send my Poshmark packets, I like to seal like the tissue paper and stuff with stickers. And I ran out of them like several orders ago and I just feel like I'm sending my stuff out like not cute enough. So I got these evil eye stickers for my water bottle. <laughs> and then I got a pack of inspirational stickers. So I have one here on my phone. Spoiler, God wins. <laughs> Comes with like 200 others. So they're really cute. It's like a cute little pop of positive message when you open your Poshmark. I don't know, I thought, it's, I think it's a nice touch. So I got those and they were cheap. I think they were like seven bucks. If you have a dog that loves tennis balls, this is a comparable purchase to cheap tennis balls, but they come with a squeaker. So it's a squeaky tennis ball specifically for dogs and it is a 12 pack. Comes in fun colors and Mern is obsessed with them, okay? You know I don't use obsessed very often and when I do, I mean it. I also got the Everett Toy Paddle Toss and Catch Game. This is a game that I grew up playing. My dad would get it for us at the swap meet. Uh, Kobe swap meet. He would get it for us every year and my brother and I would be forced to play outside. Neither of us are like outdoorsy type, but my mom would lock us outside for like four hours every summer, every day of every summer, during the summer, every day during the summer. And we'd play this game and I thought, hey, you know what? This might be a good way to get the kids outside. They play outside on that swing and climbing rope and they love to be outside. They have bicycles, they play sidewalk chalk, but I'm like, this might be a cool like athletic thing they could do. And it was a hit. And anybody in your family can play. Parker has played with the boys, the girls have played. I love to play with my son. Mateo is doing like a baseball camp this summer. And so he's like super stoked about it. And he's, you know, trying to practice catching and throwing and stuff. So it was a really fun game. And it's a game that is inclusive. So like my little guy, Daniel is six. He is pretty calm, so much so where he's like so chill, he's kind of slow at everything. It's like, I gotta give him like a 20 minute warning when we're gonna leave, cause he is slow, he is a slug. And so it's a fun game to play with him because of the Velcro assistance. He doesn't have to be so like super quick to catch because he doesn't have to, you know, do, he can just stick his hand out, which is what he does. He just hopes it lands in the Velcro. <laughs> It's a fun game. All right, then we have the racks. So we're doing our kitchen renovation very, very soon. And we have to do sort of like a fake little kitchenette in our front living room. We're gonna convert it into a small kitchen with like a microwave, a little oven, our refrigerator. And so I ordered some racks that we are going to put kind of catty corner in the, in the living room. And that's gonna be like our pantry and shelving system. And I wanted something that had good reviews was large enough to actually help and could also be sturdy enough to be repurposed in the future, holding things like stuff in the garage. So it's not flimsy, it's high quality, it has good reviews, it was very reasonably priced and it's big enough to actually count as a shelving system. So I ordered two of those. One of them is currently lost in transit, so that's interesting. We'll see if it ever arrives, but you know what? If it doesn't, Amazon's really great at replacing or refunding. And I think we're almost done. The last thing that I got was, I don't know who can relate to this, but since doing Pilates, it's been a few weeks now. 
I started to notice how smelly the reformer tables are, like sweat smelly. And like I laid down on them, you know, and like I put my face almost in them and I, and I, it's, I'm starting to notice how stinky they are. So I was like, is there like a reformer towel? Is there like a, is there like a reformer cover that I can use? And it's weird because the gym that I go to is super clean. It's super pretty. Everything looks new, you know, well taken care of. But I think it's just one of those things that you can't avoid. It's where people sweat, you know? So we are in charge of cleaning our own tables when we're done and stuff like that. But I found a non-slip Pilates reformer towel. So I ordered it, I just got it yesterday. I haven't actually tried it. I haven't actually taken it to the gym. It looks hella non-slip. So I feel confident that I won't be dying falling off the reformer. But I will definitely have to update you guys in a future video on whether or not it was a hit or a miss. That's what we got. That's what we got during the month of May. This video is obnoxiously long. I will list and link all of the items that I mentioned in the description box below. And I will also make sure to list the sizes that I ordered in each respective item. I think that's super important. And being aware of who's talking to you, like for reference, I am normally a small in tops, a medium in bottoms. My waist size is usually a six or 28. So just to give you guys some context. So I'll make sure to list and link and include my size and all the items that I got. If you guys are always curious about something that maybe I mentioned from Amazon, you can go directly to my Amazon page and everything that I've bought is always categorized in my little storefront. That's what Amazon calls it. It's like if I had an Amazon store, all of that stuff is saved there and I have like a dog section, a kitchen section, a boy section, a home goods, like couches and rugs and stuff like that. So everything's nicely organized because it's how my brain works. So I will list that in the description box as well. But if you guys like this video, if you like, I know it's gonna be long because I depend on Amazon way too much. But if you like this video and you wanna see it again in June, please make sure to let me know in the comments. I need, to, I, I need to make sure it's worth it because this is a very long video to film. It's a little exhausting, but it's also kind of exciting because we can match leggings, we can match sports bras, whatever. I don't know if your dog's gonna be super chill like my dog's because he's enjoying some delicious treats. You know what I mean? Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking through it. I love you so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.